What's up, Turner fam? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Fish. Today, we're going to be fishing a Texas rig. I'm going to show y'all how I'll be picking apart all these back water, you know, places that's three to one feet deep. We're going to be fishing all the laydowns and just pick apart this whole little area right here. Now, now the tournament a couple weeks ago, we came back here and didn't catch anything. So I'm hoping, no, no, we did catch one right here on this bush. So I'm hoping that'll change today. So basically what we got, we got 15 pound test. I'm running a three yacht Ozark trail hook. And there's Gar back here. And I got just a little bullet weight to give it a little bit of heaviness and make the, the point go down as I'm twitching it. <clears throat> and really, it's a double pop. You go pop, and then I hit it with my finger at the same time. I honestly have no idea why I do that. But I started doing it when I first started really trying to bass fish about three years ago. And that's why I use June Bug, because I, uh, I happened to go to the station here in South Carolina. And that was really the only trick worms they had. And my dad kept telling me, you know, you need to throw... Uh, green pumpkin on a texas rig or a carolina rig he's real big on the carolina rigs <clears throat> and so i went in there these were the only color trick runs they had so i got them and me and my little nephew were out and they absolutely destroyed them i y'all can't see that right now but there's like a four foot gar right there on the side of that push <laughs> that's crazy a lot of these pockets right now, like, if y'all are bow fishermen, you can just pick any little pocket that has barely any water and find the heck out of some gar right now. I'm hoping we can pull one off this bush right here. It looks too good to not have something on it. I'm, I'm terrible at regular flipping, so I do like a, sli a side swipe flip. And it works. Something in the wood over there. <laughs> I mean, really, all I'm doing is picking apart this whole thing. And I want to give any fish in there ample opportunity to give. Little worm a sniff. What? Down on that bush, there's another stick right here sticking out, and I can't throw. So we'll throw it behind it and let it come down. We'll pop it to it. We'll move on to the next lay down. <clears throat> and really guys, it's all about the first fish. If I can catch one fish, I'll know kind of where they're at back here. Like, are they at the, the end of the lay down? Are they in the lay downs? Or, you know, I mean, it could be a mix of both. So, with this tree in the water right here, I'm gonna fish 
to the left side, then I'm going to fish the right side. And there's actually another like little brush right there at the, the top of the tree. You can't really see it. So we're going to go over a stick right here and drop it straight into that brush. Now, I, I rig my worms with no hook exposed just for this reason. You always got to check and make sure your worm is as straight as you like it. Because you could go by the fast of your lifetime and your worm be crooked and he's going to be over there like, nah, that ain't no worm. Or, you know, the nah, that's not something I want to eat because it looks weird. There's another big ass guard right here. I'm going to hit him with my fishing pole. Hopefully my trolling motor don't hit that fog, and it does. But we went over it, yay. Oh, we didn't go over that one. <laughs> I mean, this place just looks amazing. I just can't believe we didn't catch more back here in the tournament, because like, it was the super pattern at the time, because nobody else was catching them. And I mean, yeah, you could probably go to clear water and catch them on a jerk bait. You could find a good school of them. That's fine, but I don't like fishing that way. So I'll stick with my jerky trick worm. on another log. <laughs> and I may have to raise my trolling motor up here in a minute. See, that's another good sign. If y'all see turtles in the back, I didn't know, I don't know if y'all know this, but they come back to, you know, the warmest water. So that's where your bass is going to be is wherever the turtles are. I mean, for years I always fished, and I was like, man, there's so many turtles back here, you know? I never put two and two together, but I actually read that the other day. Now, these gar, I don't know if bass particularly like the gar back here with them, but they're both spawning, so I don't know how that affects them. Get off the little gunk we got on the hook. Yeah, see, there's a, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but a guard rolling on the bank right over there. You see the waves? <clears throat> what they'll do, they'll get up there and just roll, roll, roll. And I guess that's how they get their eggs out. I ain't no biologist. Another thing, I was, I was thinking about live streaming these, but YouTube just changed their policy that I have to have a thousand subs to li even live stream on mobile now. So that sucks. So I'm not going to be able to do any more live streams until I get a thousand subs. Y'all seem to like the first live stream I did. I was planning on doing some more as soon as I got something to hold my phone where it doesn't give me a heart attack that's going to fall in the water. Which I think I found something that has like a magnet you can put on the back of your phone and it has a magnet on the other side so i could literally just put like a metal bar like up here in the front and be able to live stream that way i'm hoping about to be on this white lawn chair pattern <laughs> there's a lot of crazy stuff you find 
fishing on the bank or in the water. That's a long tree too. That tree goes all the way around. Well, they're not on the lawn chair. Let's see if he's just back here taking a break from it. Oh, we made something move. Well, he's not back there taking a break. Let's see if he's up here at the front grilling. Nope. Fired up in this bush right here. I don't know if that's a stick or a fish up there. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Stick. <laughs> All right. There's got to be one on this point right here or something. Surprised I didn't backlash that. But yeah, well, I mean, for like areas like this, I mean, the max depth back there is probably like three feet. They could be literally anywhere out here on um, just a little bitty piece of wood or hell, a damn pine cone or something. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion, to fan cast areas like this, especially if they're really hard to get to by like a fiberglass boat or even my boat. Like, I, I may have to put the trolling motor up to get back there, but. I first want to catch a fish to make sure it's worth going back there. See, I got gunk on my sinker, but it's not terrible. So also, this log right here is a good holding place if the wind was blowing, but this whole pocket is protected by wind. Like, there's no wind going east, south, west that could hit this pocket head on because of the way it's located. Which is definitely a plus. Alright, let's see if we got gunk on it this time. Got a little bit. So we're going to check this side. And see if it's the same situation. It's a buzzard. That just broke a limb. Wow. But if it's the same situation over here. Because, I mean, they, they don't like that because it doesn't have a lot of oxygen. The gunk or whatever. I don't even know what to call it. Let's see. There's a lot of sticks right here. It's one thing I can tell you about bass fishing. Is if you're afraid to get hung, you need to go fish for something else. Because there's a lot of fish that I have caught in sticky situations. That turtle ain't scared of nothing. He's a savage. Alright, what depth we got right here? Six feet right here going into it. I want to go by this bush right here. Back up just a tear. I don't make too much noise. Because we just kind of drifted over here. Now, so this tree right here is kind of the stuff I caught my seven on yesterday. No takers on this one, though. No gunk on my sinker. So, that side is more gunky than this side. Just little key things you want to think about. Like, you know, you got a couple stumps here, and we don't catch a fish. Now, if we throw to that stump over there and catch a fish, then we need to throw to the, the next isolated thing. So, we got gunk there, so there's no gunk out here, but there's gunk up there. So with the gunk, I'm going to give a little bit harder twitches. I don't know if that's a fish or not. It's 
not pulling, so it may just be a whim. But always when I feel pressure, I wait. Because you never know. And it was just a whim. There's a big old turtle over there. <laughs> under the water. Alright. This side we got more of, you know, normal crap that's on the bottom. We've got an X in the water right there. With, uh, well, it's actually a triangle stump right there. Uh, my worm's in the middle of it right now. Check it. I'm gonna fire it all the way back here. I just feel like there's got to be a bath somewhere back here. It just looks so good. See, again, I'm, my, my line got tight. There was a huge fish over there. It's probably a gar. But anyways, my line got tight, you just stop and wait. I mean, a lot of the bigger fish, you won't feel them. That's honestly the truth. And then some of them, I mean, you feel the hell out of them. They feel like a brim. Not most of them, but you get some that feel like a brim. holding on back here if they're not on normal stuff there's a fish right here he don't say he don't feel too big we got him though he's about a pound probably maybe a little bit bigger no nah, he's a pretty good fish come here bud all right yeah i'll give it two pounds See what I'm saying? Like he bit literally like a brim. And, and look, look at that hook. Like it's a 99 cent hook at Walmart and I have no troubles with it. We're actually gonna have to get the pliers out on him. 